evening T1 sufferers. Uh, had a little issue the other day when I was out, which was <clears throat> the throttle was working fine, but the pedal assist would either not work at all or would just jerk forward randomly. So, a bit scary and a bit annoying because it's a long way from home. Um, but just rode home with the throttle and that was all right. Um, so I thought I'd have a look at the um, the sensor for the pedal assist, which is this little thing, which sits in there and obviously you, you, your pedal crank comes up here. Um, emailed the distributor, but I haven't heard anything back yet. And I thought, well, it's worth having a little look. So took this apart. And all you need is a, I've lost it now, <laughs> an Allen key, the right size to take off the, the bolt for the crank. So that goes through the crank, holds your crank on. Um, whatever size that is, I'm sure you've got one knocking about. Can't even see the size on that. Where is it? Does that say H8? There we go take that out and then if you've got one of these that is brilliant that is a crank puller um, there's a part number if you if you want to get one um, and what it does is that screws so you take the bolt out and then you screw this in to the the hole in the crank which I shall show you so there you go so you've got your, your crank on like that wherever it goes take the bolt out and then this gives most screws in here into that thread and then you tighten this up and as you tighten it up it pulls the crank off if you haven't got one of these you could probably get away with whacking it with a mallet but yeah good luck um you can get these on amazon for about three quid so you know worth worth having one in the in the toolkit anyway so i got the crank off and then the the sensor just sits in in there and if you can see in there you've got these little castellated bits and that's the back of the sensor that just pushes in so all you do is just pull it out no effort then up here so obviously take the battery out you've got this plastic plate that sits at the bottom which broke because I took it out so I'm about to glue that back and then you've got the the metal cover underneath that screws on that's easy that's just four screws and then you'll see the wire from the sensor goes through this hole here and plugs into the controller and that wire to me looks a little bit on the burnt side but it might just be dirt but anyway um so i thought well i'll take it apart and have a look and you've got two tiny little screws that screw the sensor together and I took it apart and how it works is you've got a little pickup there. As you can see that at the bottom. You've got three wires going to that and that picks up, I presume it's a magnet. I can't see what else it could be. So you've got a series of magnets. Yeah, you can see it's even held the little screw to it. Um, so a series of magnets and as, as you start turning the, the pedal, these obviously spin round on here inside the sensor and that tells the the controller that you're moving and therefore to give you some power um you couldn't even see these magnets it was so covered in dirt just mud absolutely caked in it i should have, I, I might have got a picture of it a minute ago i'll stick that in here as well but obviously if it can't see the you know if the magnets aren't making contact with the sensor it ain't going to work properly and that was a couple of days ago so i should imagine it was probably wet in there as well um the, this this so where the sensor is that was just full of dirt and it even had insects crawling around inside it so i would suggest either find a better better sealed one of these 
I mean, there, there were some on eBay. I just don't know if they're all compatible or not but for like three or four quid. Um, but if not, I would suggest that maybe every every perhaps every time you go out somewhere dusty or if it's got really wet, pop this off. I mean, it only takes a, a literal. I mean, you wouldn't even have to disconnect all this lot. You could just take the crank off, pull this off. Two little screws on the back of there. See where the screw screw holes are. Take that off and either sort of squirt it out with a bit of contact cleaner or WD forty, or give it a give it a brush with a a soft brush, and then pop it all back together again. Because that's just it's just open to the elements there, and it look you can see how dirty it is round round it. I've cleaned a bit of that off. Just all the muck can get in there, get inside the sensor. I'm 99% sure that's going to fix it, um, unless I've, you know, unless it's just got knackered now from being so dirty. But there you go. I hope that's useful. Um, I mean, it's not just the, the T1 that has these; they look to be fairly universal, from what I can see. Um, yeah. Well, hope that helps. See you later.